So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get the best export settings here on Premiere Pro. So to begin, let's go first in our export settings. Now in order for us to do that, make sure your timeline is selected and then on your keyboard, press Ctrl M. Now once you're here, the first thing that we need to change is the format. So here, normally you'd want to have the H.264 format. That's normally the MP4. And then you can also choose HEVC. Now this format will give you a more high quality result. But not all players are compatible with HEVC. So it's normally recommended to just use H.264. Now the next thing that we need to change is here on the preset. What we need to use here is the adaptive settings. So we can either have the adaptive high bitrate or adaptive medium. It's going to take account your frame rate and resolution. So it's just better to just use this. So for example, I would just want to use the high bitrate one. So select adaptive high bitrate. And then the last thing that we need to change is we need to toggle this on, the use maximum render quality. Now that's for the basic settings for your video. Now if you want to have a more optimal result, let's us continue with this tutorial. Now the first thing that we need to do to make our video more optimized is let's go here on our video settings. And then here on the basic video settings, normally match source is toggled on. So it's going to match your source video on your project. Now if you want to change the resolution, you can just toggle this off and then you can just change the resolution here. Now it's okay for you to lower down the resolution. So for example, if you have a 1080p video, you can set it to 720. Now it is not recommended for you to raise the resolution. Like for example, if you start with 1080, you can't go with 4K because the program has less pixels to work with and then it's just going to make your video blurry or pixely. So it's just better for you to just lower it down. Now the next thing that we need to change here is let's just scroll down a little bit and then we need to toggle the render at maximum depth. And then next, just scroll down a little bit more and then here on the encoding settings, on the profile, we need to toggle this for us to change this. And then select the drop down button and then select the high. And then underneath that, there's like the level. So I'll toggle this on again to change it. And then set this to 4.2. Now the next thing that we need to change is the bitrate. Now here on the bitrate settings, we need to change the bitrate encoding first. So here in the bitrate encoding, you have three options, CBR, VBR 1-pass, and VBR 2-pass. Now, VBR is just a way better version of the CBR, so it's just recommended for you to just use the VBR. Now, the difference between VBR 1-pass and then VBR 2-pass is with VBR 2-pass, it's going to give you a more higher quality result, but it's just going to take longer for the rendering. Now let's just go with that and then let's just scroll down a little bit. Now you have more options here on your bitrate settings if you choose the two pass. So you have target bitrate and then maximum bitrate. Now your target bitrate would really depend on what kind of video are you posting. So for example, if you want to post a 1080p video on YouTube, they have a recommended settings for your target bitrate. So for 1080p videos, you need to set your target bitrate to 8, like this. And then for the maximum bitrate, you can also set it as the target bitrate, so also like 8. But you can add a little bit more to that. For example, you can make it to 12 to give more um, depth to your scenes. And then the last thing that we need to change is here on the audio. And then just scroll down a little bit. And then you'll see here, bitrate settings. And then you need to set it to 320. And then once it's done, we need to save this export settings. 
Now, in order for us to save this, let's just go here on the top, right on the preset, just click on Save Preset. And then just type any name that you want. So, for example, Best Preset, like this, and then press OK. Now, we can use this preset to all of the videos that we're going to export now. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.